Welcome back to What Are Tea Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the M53 M55, the tier 9 American SPG. This one's located on the southwest spawn of Live Oaks and it's under the command of Angelina 75 and its her first response to Talents 2 replays, first with the uh, Object 261 and then with the Hummel. Two marks of excellence on the barrel and numerous markers showing she's earned H tankers in various games. Now, the rules of the contest are it's the highest person or the highest result you get in, firm, in terms of tanker, and then if you get the same level of tanker, it goes to the other awards, such as the uh, medals, and after that, to whether or not you have the higher of the win eights at the end of the game. Yeah, she's just loaded, she's fully dialed in, rounds out, and... Ooh. So she got damage off two enemy tanks and she stunned three of them at the same time. She's marked the Bosch as her target, but she got some stun assist off that one as well. So first shot is good. Now there is an enemy tank near the railway crossing, the dip and uh or the bridge i should say not the, it is the dip that's what quickie baby has called it so often uh but i think he was just on a scouting run in the meantime looking towards the town it's still that bunch of enemy tankers still hovering around the tree and angelina likes the foshes yeah she gets a direct hit this time 206 hit points changing position to avoid counter battery Yes, Angeline has been very busy recently, so she hasn't been able to play the game as she would like to. Uh, but she's managed to find some time for herself. Plus, of course, they had a big problem at the house because they didn't have any internet for about half the week or so. Uh, I think there was other reasons why they couldn't connect. It may have been down to bad weather in the States, or it could have been something else. But certainly they weren't able to get online as much as they would have liked to. Rounds out the T-13, not enough lead, but she still managed to get the rear of him for 327 hit points tracking in place, and he's out of the game, so very well played. That was a big earner. Four shots hit that T-30, Angelina first, then another tank, then another tank after that, and finally, because she tracked him, she got the damage assist at the end. So that T30 driver is probably feeling, why did Artie hit me at that moment? Yeah, he's probably asking him several questions. Rams out in the whizzing. Just a little too far behind there. She still did get some stun though, that's the main thing. Oh, he's gone. Now the M53 M55 has a 203mm howitzer for the 8 inch howitzer and it's capable of doing 900 alpha penetrating 52mm of armour. Standard reload is 40.27 seconds, Angelina's got 32.97. Oh, bit of rescue balloon there, she's right at the edge of her field of fire. She's trying to dial in, she's ready to go. Oh, direct hit! Right on the money there. Definitely a direct hit. And she's just found an enemy art an enemy tank that's hiding in between those houses. An AMX 1390. And it's a splash kill. If she put Manchester Spirit around near that guy, he's going to expire. I think he just realises he's been spotted. So he's trying to get away as fast as he can before he gets wiped out. And he did just kill our... Uh, one of our tanks or was it him or one of our teammates i'm looking here i can't see who he killed it might have been one of his teammates that killed but that amx 1390 is still running away looks like we're going to go for the t125 the amx 1390 is coming in again but this time around we're aiming for a conqueror She's seen him, just looking, she's lost sight of him again, he went into the dip, there he is, line up the shot, looks, oh he's changed course again, but he's gone into the dip and stopped, 
and he's out the game. So the AMX 1390 is no problem now. The enemy RT has been spotted the other end of the map. It's been spotted by one of our teammates gone up near the railway station. We're almost loaded. We've marked the spot. Now he did fire just that moment, but he might not have moved. And Angeline is about to find out if he hasn't. Always a good idea to move. Rounds out straight away. Direct hit. Now he didn't move. That was a big mistake by him. And he's probably taken a huge amount of damage off that shot alone. Angelina's marked the spot. She wants another try. We're only one tank ahead of the enemy at the moment. But uh, they're about to lose some more. They've just lost another one. And the boss just died. Taken out by our strip 103B. We're having a quick look. Can't see any reason why the Fosh is still there, but Angelina might be able to get a shot from that Viz 55. Dialing in. Oh, we just took a big hit on from one of our teammates. Angelina's lining up a shot for him. Rounds out. And she splashed him for 186 and stunned him, and that's the important bit. The 705 is going to get some some damage on him if he's stunned there's only three enemies left one of them is up near their cap area Angelina's closing the distance on the enemy to make sure that she can get a quicker reaction okay the T125 is in sight Can't see him now. There he is. Okay, she can go for him in now. And fully dialed in. Rounds out. Oh, splash kill. She got him. So that means now there's only the Viz 55. He's the last enemy tank alive. I mean, basically, as it is at this moment, Angelina could shotgun him at close range and he still died he's very low on hit points 126 angeline can easily take him out with a splash kill he's being closed on and he's gone well that was a good result for angelina because she takes the lead with that battle she got a second class tanker in that game as well as a bruiser for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, she got seven and she got a confederate as well, which means that she's got a higher result than uh, Talon 1958. Let's have a look at the win eight. Yes, 1,881. Usual good high score uh, for Angelina. Not super income level yet, but uh, I'm sure that she will get there sometime in the next week or so. She usually gets high um, super income levels or um, of that sort of level for the tier 10 and tier 9 RTs. Let's have a look at the team score. Well, in that game, we can see the highest damage in the game was actually went to the Bosch 155 on the enemy team. Got 5,018 hit points, but didn't get the high caliber because it wasn't 20% of the enemy hit pool. And I think we know this player. It's Zoe Balls. Yes, she was in the Bosch. And she got taken out in the end. I don't think it was um, Angelina, but I think she did hit Zoe Balls at least once during that game. And she only found out that she'd hit Zoe at the end of the game when it was pointed out to her in the results. Yes, there she is. Uh, managed to get 343 hit points off Zoe Balls. Well, Zoe was not the only one on the enemy team. Yes, Ram Tough of Reborn was also in that game. And he was also in a Fosh 155. So both of those players on the enemy team who went up to the bushes was both spotted and hit by Angelina. They must have recognized her name when they saw the Rams coming in. At that point, they must have realized, yes, probably need to be elsewhere and not near that tree because they're just inviting her fire to come in and deal them damage. So, uh, let's have a look at the rest of the details. Oh, after quickly looking at that M53, 424 hit points. Very nice shot. That was a direct hit on the enemy. Anyway, going back to the scores, we can see that Angelina only got one kill, but the highest score in the game on that one 
was the um, Strip 103B managed three kills. Two kills went to the Super Conqueror, the CC1 Mark II, and the M53, M55, the other one on her team. And on the enemy team, their Bosch 155, their M53, M55, and their T110 E5 all managed two kills. That was Zoe managed two. Um, in fact, she was their highest scorer. And when it came to base XP, Angelina's in third place. Yes, because the Object 705 managed 1,218, the only player to get over 1,000. 888 went to the Strip 103B, and 869 went to Angelina. So third place on XP. Angelina fired 10 rounds in the game. She got four direct hits on the enemy, but she didn't get any pens at all, unfortunately. 11 splash. Damage of 1,793 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. She damaged eight of the enemy, killed one, so there's the Confederate. 172 hit points of damage assistance and 1,109 hit points of stun assist of 10 stuns. She earned 24,772 credits on a free-to-play account, and after resupply of ammunition, took away 6,072 credits profit. 869 base XP. Times two for the first victory, 1,738 experience points altogether. So a decent result. Um, it's a pity she didn't get any pens or get a huge amount of damage. But she did take the lead. And that means now that Talon's got to beat her score of a second class and a confederate. Uh, because that would be what uh, he's looking to get. He might be able to get a first class. He might even be able to get an ace tanker and win the contest outright. But I rather think that Angeline's probably going to do that because she likes the line at the weekend, yes. So we'll just have to see who comes up with what during the week. I hope you enjoyed those replays. If you did, please give the video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.